In this video, I will show the method for carrying out rigging calculations based on varying lengths of lifting devices. Additionally, I will explain how to calculate and achieve a balanced rigging setup by taking into account the load center of gravity. In my previous video, I mostly concentrated on calculating the load and tension. To simplify the calculations, I made the assumption that the length of the rigging remains constant, even if the center of gravity is not at the center. In this example, the cargo that need to lift has two lifting points and weighs 35 tons. However, the center of gravity of the cargo is not located in the center as shown. Now, we will determine the load on each lifting point basis based on the provided dimension. To get the forces or load in each lifting point, weight of the cargo multiply by lifting point distance to COG over total distance of two lifting point. Based on calculations, as the center of gravity of the cargo is located close to lifting point number one, the forces or load exerted on this side are significantly greater. We must prioritize the selection of lifting equipment based on its higher value. In order to choose the appropriate shackle, it is important to check that its capacity exceeds the forces or load, and that the shackle is compatible with the lifting lug of the cargo. It is important to note that as the capacity of the shackle increases, so does its weight. Therefore, it is advisable not to exceed the appropriate size of your shackle if necessary. Let's consider using a 25-ton shackle with the length indicated. To achieve correct rigging, it is necessary to utilize in a process of trial and error in order to achieve a balanced length of rigging, particularly when the center of gravity is not aligned with the center. Let's assume that you plan to use same length of rigging in both lifting point. Using AutoCAD, you can see the result if you use the same length of rigging when the COG is not in the center. If you are unfamiliar with the usage of AutoCAD, there is no need to be concerned. In the following example, I will demonstrate how to accomplish the task without doing the drawing, using mathematical method. Upon plotting the combined length of both rigging components, it becomes apparent that the center line of the rigging is offset from the center of gravity of the cargo, as shown. A significant deviation from the center of gravity of the cargo will result in tilting and adversely impact the installation or alignment. Here you can see the center line of the rigging is offset around 150 mm from the cargo center of the gravity. Let's us do the drawing how much the cargo will tilt base in this offset of the rigging. Plot the total distance of lifting point number 1 and 2 and also the length of the rigging. Now you can see how much will tilt the cargo base in this offset. Tilt the cargo around 1.66 degree. Base in this 1.66 degree the cargo will up around 194 mm at lifting point number 2 and down at lifting point number 1. Now, 
let us utilize the mathematical approach. I create this spreadsheet for the purpose of rigging balancing. This spreadsheet provides information on the degree of tilt that the cargo will experience if the rigging and center of gravity are misaligned. The designated column, indicated by the green highlight, allows you to enter both the data and quantity of the rigging you intend to utilize. Additionally, you have the option to personalize the length of the rigging. The data in this spreadsheet for Shackle is based on Crosby Catalog. Upon entering all the values, the program will automatically compute the rigging center line distance from the cargo center of gravity. According to the AutoCAD drawing, there is a 150 mm offset in the rigging center line when using the same length of rigging for both lifting points. The value in the spreadsheet corresponds to the value in AutoCAD. Also it will show here how much the cargo will tilt during lifting. You can trial and error in this spreadsheet, until you get the closest value or lowest value where the center line of rigging is close to cargo center of gravity. After trial and error, I get the closes value is 1, using 1 piece of 35 ton shackle at lifting point number 1, and 2 pieces of 25 ton shackle at lifting point number 2. Which is great for our rigging. Now, let us use this rigging combination for our calculation. You can modify it again the length or combination of your rigging, if your rigging capacity is fail or too close in sling tension. You can refer to my old video, for rigging weight calculation and also 3 method how to calculate the wire sling tension. Now, start to calculate the total weight of the rigging for lifting point number 1 and lifting point number 2. Start to calculate the sling angle based on sling overall length and lifting point distance to COG. Formula as show below, you can pause the video so you can follow me in my calculation. Once you get all the value for sling angle and reaction forces in lifting point, start to calculate the wire sling tension based on this value. To get the sling tension, by adding the forces plus rigging weight and multiply by 1 over sin degree. Here are the summary of lifting gear. Based in the calculation for sling tension, you will know the safety factor of your lifting gear.